Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one-to-one diet consultants. And this week, we're going to talk about how to deal with the next few weeks before the big C comes and slaps us in the face. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the conversations that I've been having this week, and I'm sure you found the same, Heidi, have been based around getting ahead of the month of December, setting our intentions, but actually the nuts and bolts, not questioning the, the why. The why yeah. is there. Guys, if you are watching this video in December, then there is absolutely no Got all the why you, you need. <laughs> yeah, but you want to be here and that you want to do this. But much more than not the nuts and bolts, you know, the really practical, let's look at your calendar, let's look at the work do and what's going on in your in your month and, and work out the how you know that the, the the what menus can we look at the which one can you have and which one can you scale back you know what are you not going to get away without doing what do you want and what do you not want to do and I think we want to come here today to, to share some of that with you but also to empower you to be able to say no on yeah. your own terms and feel good about that because a lot of what comes out at this time of year in the coming weeks is a constant regret that we compromise our own personal boundaries and our own sense of self and our personal goals for an easy life, for a quiet life, to make other people happy. And I think the bottom line has to be, it is not worth compromising your mental health over any of that, because we want you at the end of this month to be standing proud no matter what the numbers say, yeah. feeling like you've shown up for yourself, you've held those boundaries and that this is the this is the new way forward. We know so then we can go into 2024 feeling like we're we're in the driver's seat. We know we the the, the, the why that's that goes without saying. And of course, you know, if the numbers do go down, there's all those extra gold points and smug smug stars to be had for losing weight on plan in December. <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of us are people pleasers as the at this time of year we don't want to rock the boat we don't want to upset anyone however in doing that we are letting other people upset us and putting ourselves back at the bottom of the list like we've done a lot of the time before we start plan not looking after ourselves and what we want out of this season stating our boundaries saying what we need from a situation there are a lot of us it will be completely new yeah um, you know that actually when 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 we go on plan it can be a very humbling experience it it really points uh, you know it shines a light on a lot of our previous behavior um our relationship with food and our relationship with ourselves as well and i think a lot of us come to the realization that a lot of the stuff we eat is not born out of hunger it's not born out of you know it's a lot of it is driven by that sort of societal pressure that codependency and various different relationships you know whatever it is for you you know why did I do that I didn't even really want it you know yes. and I think that can lead to a lot of um um a bit of soul searching if I'm honest you know our relationship with others you know I'm thinking I'm thinking Christmas time I'm thinking parents-in-law I'm thinking sisters-in-law I don't know why they're the people that come into my mind but you know you you know that 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 person that always turns up with a big hamper or always has the gingerbread making session and absolutely goes against the grain to for you to for, for you to not to attend but I also think a lot of those relationships are long-standing and us holding our personal boundaries um in a different way can be quite shocking to yes. our family and friends because we never have before and that can upset the apple cart they don't like the change <laughs> it's not that they don't like you they don't like the new you they don't think that you being a slimmed down version of you is going to turn you into a you know a miserable so and so it's just that they don't like change and this is what we always do and if there is ever a time for tradition and the old but this is what we always do we always get hammered when term ends <laughs> we always do the gingerbread making evening we always do this then changing up your boundaries um and you know and feeling that's very threatening for people yes it's about not changing your participation isn't it Heidi how many times are you and I saying to people at the moment take your eyes up off the plate yeah. It's not about the food. The food is greasing the wheels, quite literally, in a lot of cases. It's getting us together. But it's not the only reason we're here. It's the excuse. It's the tradition. Yeah. And most people are, a, they're a bit like you. They're more concerned with what they're going to eat, what you all think of them. And you're thinking the same thing. Yeah. They're not you're that eating worried like about what you're eating. In a bikini. <laughs> Nobody's looking at yours. They're all too busy sucking in their own. Yeah. They're so consumed with, oh, I ordered this or what did I order? Or what's Mary next door going to think of me if I skip the dessert? They're thinking the same things that you're thinking, yes. except we're all overthinking it. And actually, you just don't always, sometimes you have to state your intentions. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you can just get away with doing your own thing 
and no one will notice. So there's a and couple of things fun. there. One is people want to host. So yes. people want to feel like they have done their job um, yes. and that they have, you know, made you happy because that that's their role in this re relationship. Um, and if you keep rejecting their their offers it it can be quite um confronting for people and so they keep badgering you but you're sure you can't get you know she came around with those mince pies four times and you know what would have stopped that is i don't want one of them thank you so much but i'd love a coffee yeah give that somebody and if you were hosting you would feel exactly the same way give them a job give them a decoy job i can't have i, I can't have I, I don't really no thank you it suffices no thank you um and also don't make excuses for yourself i think i just heard myself doing it there it's kind of easy to you know to to do that but again we don't know is a complete sentence guys yeah you know you are allowed to just stop there and That's not say, explain yourself i can't do that this month sorry could we do something else no thank you you sure you don't want a massive chocolate cupcake because it's the 20th of December? No, thank you. Yeah. I'd love a coffee. I did throw a sorry in there. I can't help myself. <laughs> no, exactly. We can't though, can we? So <laughs> it's that it's that thing of giving somebody a decoy. They then bring you something. You get, oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And they, they're in their brain. They go, jobs are good and she's happy. She's here. She's present. She's enjoying herself. I've, I've ticked my box. Um, It's almost like the Japanese have to say three times everything. You know, those, those, they have very strict rules. And I think embracing that is a really helpful technique. But you're absolutely right. We are very selfish. We're all up in our own heads. And quite often at the beige buffet type affair, you can smush food around your plate a lot. It's when you're standing there being like, a, you know, a, it's, it's when people think that you're going to be a miserable so-and-so. That's what we mean about holding your personal boundaries. It's actually having to articulate it. And that can be done in two ways. Either, you know, some people are just out and proud. No, thanks. I'm having my bar. And that's fantastic. A lot of people aren't. So it's either getting ahead of them, getting ahead of, of, of time and phoning ahead and saying, look, this is where I'm at. It makes me happy. I'm doing brilliantly. This is my this is my journey. It is the diet to end all diets. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my own food. Or what I can have is this, this and this. Hosts, again, on they really appreciate you telling them so that they can fulfill their host duties. Do you see again that id? It's not about you. It's about them. But my need to be a good host. So as long as you're happy, if you don't want pizza on pizza night, that's grand. But don't come along and stand there saying, I can't. Not allowed. Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed Bring to do salad for yourself. Because There's nothing wrong with saying, I've got mine. I'm all good. Thanks. Yes. Enjoy. This is great. I'm here to, to see you. I'm having the best time. And don't feel like you need a thousand calories in order just no. to be there. Don't convince yourself that there's no other way out of that. If you don't feel that you can do that, do it through your behavior. Don't cross your arms and say, I can't, I'm not allowed. Because the first little sniff of toxic dieting, making diets make you miserable, right? Diets are punitive. Diets aren't the way forward. Just accept yourself. Just be happy. You know, how many times did I hear that at a size 20 odd? Yeah. 20 even. And the you thing know, is, I think also like our temptation when you're on plan and you're really focused and you want to do well, and this is all coming, is just to keep saying no and make yourself miserable. Go to the things, work out with your consultant exactly. how Don't to make them work for you. That. It's not confrontation. And I think that's where the line for a lot of us people pleasers, especially when it comes up to, to food, is that element of, I don't want to be aggressive. I don't want to be, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to appear. And I think that does come from hot housing yourself because anything yeah. for an easy life, anything for an easy life, going home with all that regret, the last thought you have at night is why did I sell myself short? I didn't want to bloody do it anyway. And now look, I'm back. So I'm going to have to be really strict tomorrow. And yeah. we're then again, we're back in that, that really unpleasant, in that little angels, cycle, you know, that perfectionism, that all or nothing territory, which is not what we've, you know, we, we've been training you to do all this time and, and trying to beat out of you really, um, for want of a, no, thank you. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm more than fine. I'm happy. People want to see you. And of course, social convention might mean that they try a couple of times. Are you sure? Are you sure I can't? Are you sure you don't want? No, thanks. I'm, I'm grand. I have the coffee or i'll have the the you know the sparkly water or i'll even have the diet soda drink or whatever it is um because they that way they do get, let you crack on i think we've all been that person and we've all been with that person who's yeah. crossed their arms and gone i'm bloody miserable on this diet and then i think it's quite fair to say oh no shut up and eat it you know yes. if that's what you want to do <laughs> but it's being derailed from your personal goals 
if you want to be doing this, if you really want to do it and you're all in, don't let these things knock and knock you because yeah, that's one of the pillars of maintenance. Long-term maintenance is being able to learn this and it is a skill and it doesn't come naturally to a lot of us, but there is a big difference between being ass- aggressive and being assertive. You yes. can say no. It is a complete sentence. You are allowed to say no. You don't have to don't have to give it with excuses. You don't have to be rude. Yeah, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Do you know how many calories are in that? Don't be a diet bore either. <laughs> and there but... is also, I think there is a difference between choosing that I'm going to put myself first. I'm not going to, I'm just going to have the black coffee in Costa. I'm not going to have the cake. And then that weekend going, I have my work to do. I've been looking forward to it all year. I set yes. what I wanted. I'm making the decision to go and enjoy myself and do that one evening and have fun. Yes. They're two different things. No, exactly. We're talking about holding your personal boundaries around the yes. plan that you're on. And if you wanted to, if you want to look at the calendar planning that we've been doing with our clients, go back a video or two, yeah. because that's exactly what we talk about. You know, you've got 21, 28 meals a week. If three of them are off plan, that's still, you know, overwhelming progress. Yeah. You know, we're trying to keep you away from that perfectionist all or nothing yes. energy. Um, but, you know, there is a big difference between learning to stand up for your own boundaries and as much for yourself. Yeah. As for anybody who's listening, because you're listening, you know, that time where you say, no, thanks, I'm fine. Y- you know, oh, I sound like I mean, I sound like yeah. I mean, it. I mean, you know, I know I, I'm, I'm convinced, you know, it's not what you focus on is what you get. So if you are caught up in that narrative of I, there's no way, there's no way around this. So I'm just going to lie down on these train tracks and let it steamroll over me. Then that is what you're going to get. But it does take it. It is brave to do what we're suggesting. Yeah. And it does take a bit of practice, but it's like a muscle. And it gets stronger every time you use it. You need to start flexing that muscle, never more so than in the next few weeks. Um, yeah. But also for the future, you're not being aggressive. Aggressive is when you wait too long to stand up for yourself and your own personal boundaries and and, and then you kind of explode. And yeah. that's that's not fair. That's not fair on your family and friends because they're not mind readers. They don't know. If you just told them that you can have the turkey and all, you know, and, and the greens, but without all the trimmings, if you told them they could have got, they could have made an alternative plan, you know. Yes. And I think that sometimes when you see your family looking frustrated or annoyed, it's not always that they're annoyed that you're on the diet and you're not eating what they put out. It's, it's they if you had told me you. I would have provided something for you, I wanted to help you. And be clear because I'm sure a lot of you are thinking well I tried to tell them and then they said but I got the low-fat cheesecake because I know you're on a diet so I got fruit because I know you're on a diet be specific either tell them I'm on a low-carb diet so thanks for the planet of grapes but actually that's gonna you know that's gonna throw me right now because you know or just say I'm gonna bring my own my most successful dieters are the ones that say I'm gonna bring my own and more often than not they end up having to give them the recipe from the from the from the new app that we've got for you know the 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 cottage pie with celeriac or the you know the teriyaki tuna because everyone goes oh my gosh this is really good they have more you know, but they, they they understand more what we can have. And that opens up all sorts of avenues for socialising. But I think this video, we really, really want to get hold of the, the festive onslaught, don't we? Yes. You know, we're, we're here to support you no matter what you do. If you go and absolutely go for it at the works do, good. What was it all for? Yeah. What's the balance? If you can't choose the bits that you want to, we're really talking about the bits that, you know, you feel like the tricky oh. bits where you're thinking, I don't really want any part of this. This isn't my choice to indulge at this point. I'm doing it for somebody else. They're the points to say, I need to decide how I'm going to handle this, state what I want, stick to my boundaries. How can I do that? And very practically, if you are going to family that you know are difficult, and you have a friend or a partner that's on your side, enlist them as your little buddy to run interference if you really run need interference. To. I love if that. Does that, that mean one... eat the roast potatoes? Is that yeah. what that's code for? Yeah. Okay, if there's good. one family member that you know they're not for turning, they're not going to listen to you, they're yeah, going to yeah. be there's all always over that one it. eagle eye who's looking at your plate more than their own. Say, I don't know. Sometimes it's your own mother. I'm just going to say that. Um, <laughs> and in, um, in my, because they to want to slim, feed it, you it, and food is love, that's how they feel then enlist that person to run interference, to distract that other person, to ask them a question at the moment where they're zoning in on you and you feel them coming. Um, And if you're at a buffet and you don't want to indulge, I'm just going to say, walk around with a plate full of food. You don't have to eat it. You have a plate full of food, no one bothers you. 
No one offers you an extra you're slice. You're right of there. You cake. got what you need. You got what you need. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Great. Crack on. They don't really going, notice if you're not eating it. If they're all right. Yeah. That, that is that busy is yourself the, the with relationship the kids. there. Look distracted. Look busy. Socialize. Move but around right, between the groups. It, it's a transactional relationship. So if you're not, if you're, if you're completely blocking your end, then they're going to keep trying. But I think the the remorse, the guilt, the mental load of eating things you didn't want to eat and put feeling like you're putting your own personal goals back a step. Yeah. Did nobody learned anything there. All it is going to do is dent your morale. And the amount of conversations I have with people who go and I didn't even want it and yeah, I felt, and I didn't know, even enjoy it. We can learn from that. We can yeah. learn from that and we can armor up for next time we you know there's always a bit of personal reflection there but if you find yourself selling yourself short over and over again to the point where it is affecting your mental well-being stop yeah. just stop you have to make the change eventually you have to find the words you have to find the strength lean on me lean on Heidi as much as you need we can literally give you sentences you know key yes. words to express to people that this is this is this is your life this is your choice you are happy and nobody nobody can make you eat something that you don't want to eat yes exactly and know that you can do it these next couple of weeks you've got this in the bag and like Nell says you have got us as your consultants in your back pocket anytime to come and moan to on whatsapp about how your family are driving you insane to, to tell us how you loved awesome it and you need it to was. again given yeah. you know that you wouldn't have changed any of it there exactly. is no judgment what we're here no. to do is to to Support pop you. that to pop that horrible taboo of it has no consequences because for those of us who have carried the mental overwhelm of overweight for many, many years, it's almost like the rest of the world just wants to pretend that it doesn't exist because yes. it's inconvenient for them, you know, because we're breaking ranks by saying any of this stuff out loud. I mean, you know, the mental load of overwhelm is, you know, more secret than the Illuminati. You know, yes. we all have to pretend to just, you know. That we're not thinking about it. It's not affecting our every decision. It has and no that we won't go home us. and lose sleep over this. But if you do, if you are, know that you're not alone. It is overwhelming and we're not expecting you to completely avoid. You know, we want you to have good, nutritious, healthy food. But we also want you to, to be happy in your own in your own company and exactly. not beat yourself up afterwards. And so that's, you know, we will challenge you gently to hold those boundaries, you know. And like I say, you know, if you're here in December and you're listening to this, you are you are with us. Yeah. So yeah. reach out for all the support that you need. And exactly. Heidi will be telling me and I'll be telling her. <laughs> yes, and we'll all be in a nice circle together. Um, we hope you found this video helpful. We will put another video up next week just before Christmas. So do press the subscribe button. We'll be here to support you. If you need the earlier videos about how to eat out, how to manage all of those things, the last few videos have been all about that. So go back and watch those for really practical tips on what can be useful at this time of year. But thank you for joining us this week and we will see you next Tuesday at five. Bye.